for the next three days and I actually found this Airbnb through Elena Davison's um, vlog from when she was in Brighton. She linked the Airbnb and I thought it was so cute and we actually ended up booking the same one. So it's super boho, we'll show you guys around, but yeah, we're here for three nights um, and then we'll head into London, but it was really easy to get here. Had a little bit of trouble getting into this Airbnb with the, the key and stuff, but we made it. So we're gonna freshen up after I give you guys a little tour and then we're gonna go find some food. So this place is so cute. It has a very boho, cozy feel to it. It's so sweet. There's like a nice little full length mirror here. And here is a look at the living room. How cute. It's so cool. I love the vibe. Cause it's so like not really my style, but I love it. And how cute is this outside bit? So sweet. Whole table, whole garden. Nice sunny day. And then here's a little look at the kitchen. It's so cute. I'm gonna say that about everything, but it actually is. She de decorated this place so well. <clears throat> and here's another look. I thought this place would be super cool to take some like indoor pictures in. So we'll see about that. I also thought that the outdoor terrace would be a good spot and also that chair. Do you like it, Code? Was it a good pick? Yeah, it's good. Yay. Still can't figure out any of these locks. No, they're all really difficult, so. Hey guys, so we have freshened ourselves up and we are getting some food. We're gonna try out the breakfast club over here and um, yeah, we're gonna check things out. We just ate our first meal, I guess, of the day at the breakfast club and it was really good. And um, just to let me give you guys a little bit of a side story, we were doing keto for like five-ish weeks before we came, so we're just kind of reintroducing carbs and sugar back into our diet and I already feel like I'm puffing up like a balloon, so that's fun. Okay. Um, but we're now at the Brighton Pier, so we're gonna go check that out, and um, I feel like there's something, oh yeah, the jet lag is starting to set in, and I'm exhausted, and I feel like Cody's getting very, very tired as well, so we're gonna try and do as much as we can today, and then go home and crash. of the galaxy and Brittany knows what I mean when I say that's not happening ever again. Nope. This place is super cool though. There's like a bajillion ice cream places along the pier. Cody also had a look at this one and was like, can we go on it? And I said, no, we may not. No, thank you. I think the only ride you're gonna be able to get me on is the London Eye and I've never been on a Ferris wheel, so. It's a ride. It is, it, I call it a ride, it's a ride. I've never been on a Ferris wheel, so. You can have all the fun though. If you want to go on it, I will support you in your choices. But... I'm gonna go on that with a stranger. <laughs> you I, just... I need to hold someone's hand. Well, up. maybe you better make friends. So I just went into a coffee shop to buy some water to take an Advil because my hip is starting to hurt and they handed me this. And I think they had a sparkling one in the like black can, but this is super bougie. Hey guys, so it is officially the next day. Yesterday, basically what you missed was after we got some water, we went to a pub and had a drink. I had one glass of wine and I got so, so tired. I was already exhausted, but we both just got so tired. So we actually Ubered back to the Airbnb 
and then we crashed at 6 p.m. We were like, let's just sleep for like a couple hours and then wake up, do something, and then try and sleep, but we just passed out. So we slept from 6 p.m. until 2.30 a.m., and then I woke up and I woke Cody up and then we just watched 13 Reasons Why for a couple hours and then we waited for the coffee shop down the road to open at 7 a.m. to go get a coffee and a snack and then we always like to go check out the grocery stores wherever we are so we went to um, Wait Rose I think it was what it was called and we got a couple drinks and stuff just to keep in our fridge um, and then we came back here took a picture for my Instagram I posted it and then we fell asleep for a couple hours we were meaning to get up at 11:30 and like start our day but it is now 1 p.m. and we're just getting ready now so there's not too much more left of the day for like the things to do so we're just gonna go check out some shops and maybe like grab a bite to eat kind of thing just go check out the town and just do some walking um but yeah jet lag is really getting the best of us but we're up now we're ready we're gonna go we're gonna see what today brings <laughs> So we did a little bit of shopping at Topshop and now we are grabbing some food at Seven Stars. This place is so cute, I just like Google Maps it. Um, it's not super busy because we're kind of eating at an awkward time, it's only 3.30. Um, but their menu and gin list is really cute, so I'm excited to see how everything tastes. to what is called the Royal Pavilion and this is basically just a really super cool castle. We're gonna learn more about it because we're actually gonna go in and do the tour and everything but the architecture on the outside is inspired by India. It's so so pretty and then the inside is inspired by China so it should be some good old cultural learning. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> okay, so we did the audio tour inside the pavilion, but you can't film anything because it's um, obviously super historical and they don't want to ruin anything with photography and stuff, so we didn't get to do that, but it was really interesting. A lot of the architect was like super, super fascinating and very colorful. Did you enjoy it? Yes. Yes. It was really good. I really liked it, and I feel like it's the first like touristy thing we've done so it's good <laughs> What was it called? The Royal Pavilion. The Royal Pavilion. There was a guy there that we met that's from Newfoundland, Canada, and he suggested we check out the West Key, and here we are. It's actually really pretty. What a nice evening. It was totally supposed to rain too, but it's nice. And then there's like a bunch of restaurants along here, so we're gonna take a little walk and see where to have a glass of wine. So instead of getting wine or singular, singular drinks, we got two pitchers. <laughs> And we're watching the sunset. It's really pretty out here. Can't really see the ocean, but the marina's over there, and so is that big seagull. He's like really big. How's your drink? It's tasty. We got the Sex on the Beach in this one, and then what's this one? The gin fizz. Gin fizz with like raspberry liqueur. Oh, gin berry fizz. Gin berry fizz. But they're both tasty. Good morning, guys. It is now our third day here. 
I'm not sure, but today is our last day in Brighton, so we're actually packing everything up right now, and we're gonna be heading out of this Airbnb, heading to the train station, and then we'll be off to London, where we will be staying for eight more nights, and I don't know how much vlog footage I have. This might be the end of the first travel vlog, but if not, then you'll see the next clip, but if it is, thank you guys so much for watching, and stay tuned for the next couple, because we're definitely gonna be vlogging in London, and then I'll probably do a whole separate video for Paris, because why the heck not? So, yeah, stay tuned for those, and I will We'll see you in the next video. Bye!